Star Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Greetings and salutations. It is Wednesday. I think, yeah, it's Wednesday, October 22nd, and uh, we're playing some Minecraft, and I told you that the next time we play Minecraft, I was going to teach you guys how to do some minecart stuff, so I'm going to preface this by saying that there are many intricacies to this, I'm going to show you kind of like the basics of how to build up a system, and the kind of way that I do it, um, you absolutely can look up, go on the Gamepedia site, and look it up for yourself and if you know circuits really well if you can understand how the redstone creates circuit stuff then by all means um go to town i don't quite my brain doesn't work right with circuits i can never really understand the off and on and all that and stuff so um if i'm doing anything that involves circuits i usually am following a tutorial and i'm watching it like 50 bazillion times over that being said um today I'm going to show you quickly how to do just some basic stuff to kind of get you going. So we're going to be making three kinds of rails and I'm going to uh, be alt tabbing occasionally. That one I know. This one, okay. So and then this one makes how many? Okay, perfect. So um, the first thing we're going to do so we're going to make a minecart. Now I already made one because I started this video, realized I didn't have enough iron, and then I had to go running around for iron, and I figured that would be boring and you guys wouldn't want me to see that. So I went to our Cave of Wonders and got a whole bunch of iron. So, um, this is a minecart, and how you make it is you take iron, and you make a little boat, and you get a minecart. Uh, I'm not actually going to, we only need one, I'm not going to make two. Now you can make them with uh, TNT, and then as soon as they hit an activator rail, they'll explode. You can put um, chests in them if you want to cart stuff from various locations. Um, you can put furnaces in them and it'll power like a whole train of mine carts, uh, etc. Like there's lots of stuff you can do, but I, again, I'm just going to show you the basics. So we make rails by doing a two outside lines of iron ingots and one stick in the middle. And that, so eight, uh, sorry, six ingots and one stick will net you 16 rails, which is pretty good. Um, the other type we're going to make, and I'm only going to make a couple, one set of each of these. I think actually we're going to make quickly some more iron ones. That, that should be good. Okay, so the next kind we're going to make are uh, the powered rails. And this, uh, I have to remember how to make this now. The powered rail, okay and you put a stick in the middle and then a piece of redstone underneath and you get powered rails. We're gonna make also quickly um, some, actually I'm just gonna do this quick, um, some redstone torches. We'll make two, we'll make four. That should be good. Okay, and then um, we're gonna make some, what do they call them, detector rails. This is how I, before I kind of got a little bit more, I don't want to say advanced, but I understood a little bit more how stuff worked. Um, I used to power my powered rails with torches, and now I power them with um, detector rails, what I call the on button rails. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some pressure plates. So I need some cobblestone. Just grab a little bit of cobblestone here. And you make pressure plates. No, that's not what I want. Hmm, hold up. Stone pressure plate. Well then, I need to actually have stone. So um, now we're going to talk quickly about how to make regular stone. So if you want like the look of cobblestone and you want it to look like when you mine it, you put it in a furnace. And then you wait a few seconds and then you get regular stone. Now for pressure plates we need two so I'll have to make two and while that's going I'm just going to grab all the iron that I farmed up. All right good and then I think we just use oh, no it's not what I wanted to do. Oh we do use we do use iron okay good um so back to game so there's our second one, and then we're going to go back to our crafting table, and we're going to make pressure plate. 
So these pressure plates can be used to open um, iron doors. Wooden doors you can click to open, as you know we have them on our house. Iron doors actually need some type of activation, so you can use a lever, you can use a button, you can use pressure plates, you can use redstone, um, like circuit type things. It's it, 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 Your options are not infinite, but there's quite a few. Um, so these are going to activate because there's redstone in them. Do this, and then one on each side. And I'm actually going to make a few more powered rails. Hmm. Yeah, I'll make one more set of powered rails, I think. There. Okay. So here we go. There is a zo- Why aren't you on fire? not nighttime. Oh, there must be enough of an overhang that he... and it's raining. Okay, so um, there is an achievement to go one kilometer away from your house, um, which we could do, but for now, I'm just going to show you how I do this. There's our little lovely nether portal. Okay, so um, I will also mention that these are very, I don't want to say temperamental, but you cannot place mine carts um, underwater. And if water hits them, they will be removed. Um, if lava hits them, they will be destroyed. Um, if the block, if there's no block beneath the rails, they will kind of, they'll, they'll drop, but you can pick them back up unless lava, in which case lava will destroy them because lava destroys everything in its path. So we're going to grab our regular rails our detectors and then our powered rails so let's do this all right so essentially what we are looking at here is do this and then if you want to turn you just turn it and then it curves so we'll just make a fun little loop here And you, because they have iron, you break all of your rails. Um, you break all of your rails by uh, just destroying them with a pickaxe. So we're going to actually just break it here. So let's put our minecart here. Now you can nudge it, and then it'll go. And then you just press sneak to dismount. So it'll go, and eventually it's going to die out. You can see we're slowing down. And you, you're free to kind of look around however you like. So we're going pretty slow, and then if you're going uphill, obviously you'll eventually just start going down. Um, and then when we hit the end, we're done. And you just hit shift to dismount, and we're good. So we'll keep them there. Now, let's say we want to go a little faster. So you will get rid of one. This is how I usually did it. I put, because sometimes you want to go backwards, I put a powered rail on either side and a detector rail. So if we go like this. Oh, right, I forgot. Okay, so the downside to doing it this way is, you can, well, the downside to doing it this way is that you can only go, um, whoa, no, 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 none of that. You can only um, do this one way because if the rail is not powered, you actually stop on it. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I've done this. So let's uh, drop just a regular one. And we'll put down our mine card again. And we're going to activate it, which will activate the powered rail, and we'll go a little bit faster. Now, this is kind of the easiest way to do it, but like I said, it means that you're kind of SOL if you want to go back on this, because as soon as you come back around this way, you're going to stop on this before you hit the detector rail. So another way to do this, and I'm just going to get rid of this is we'll go in groups of three I think is usually best we'll go one two three one two three and we'll try one two three and we're gonna use 
just our powered rails. But you can see they don't turn. So um, if you have to do a curve, you're pretty much you pretty much just have to use the regular brown ones, and that's okay. So this is where our redstone torches come in handy. These will power anything in a small zone. So we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that, and we'll do that. And now, if we just drop. Let's do this one here. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay. Never mind. We don't have enough. Oh, I can make another redstone torch. What am I talking about? Okay. And then we'll just go like this and like this. Like this. Let's go this. Give it a little nudge. Hop in. Whee! You see, I can't even keep up with the turning. We're going so fast. And we're just on an infinite cycle. And that's what it looks like. And now because we're doing it this way, we can reverse it and have the same effect. So um, usually if you're going flat, you can kind of keep going. It's going to be slow, but you can keep going almost indefinitely. Um, if you have a powered one behind you, the one with the furnace, um, that'll kind of keep you chugging along. It'll help you go up hills. If you are going up hills, I'm just going to destroy this so it'll stop. Um, if you are going up hills, uh, I recommend throwing a bunch of these and possibly a detector rail on the top or bottom of the section, essentially, is what I will suggest. Um, so what your option can be, if you want to go both ways, you do this, and you put, we'll destroy this, and we'll put a detector rail there and a detector rail there. And let's go here. And we'll drop this here. No, 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 no. Ah, okay, so it's just really slow. Once it gets going though, we're good. So if we wanted to, whee! then yeah, you just sneak to dismount. So we will do that. And now if we go this way, same deal. And that is essentially how minecarts work. Um, again, there are a couple other types that you can do, and I'll show them to you. Well, you can go online to see them. Um, different types of carts and rails. Um, there's one with a hopper, and I don't quite understand what the hopper is. Oh, it will collect items lying on tracks and from containers above them, and it causes lag. But it'll just collect stuff, so if you send a TNT one, you can put a hopper one, a couple carts behind it, and it'll pick up anything that fell, so if there's stone or iron or dirt or whatever, it'll pick it up. So yeah, that is pretty much all I wanted to show you for today. So we have our little session, and these redstone torches don't die out, so they'll just kind of stay in, in, infinitely powered. Um, redstone is tricky. It is circuitry, and it confuses me. Um, I know a little bit. I kind of know enough to get by and do what I want. Um, so eventually, again, we have the achievement here. Where is it? Uh, I keep moving stuff. Here we go. So travel by minecart at least one kilometer from where you started. So um, that is a very long line. You can make them look really... I have to get back inside. It's turning into nighttime. You can make them look really, really pretty. Um, you can have them going under like lava falls covered in glass and stuff like that. Like the possibilities are endless. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is it for today's video. Tomorrow we will be back to Diablo. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know the deal. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.